statement of the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe from my grandfather's talks of 1875. This is the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe speaking about he, who he was the sixth Lubavitcher Rebbe, speaking about his grandfather, the fourth Lubavitcher Rebbe. We told a story about him yesterday, the Rebbe Shmuel. <clears throat> the three days before Shabbat are a preparation for Shabbat. The Zohar says about Shabbat that from it, all the days are blessed. Now, there's two ways of looking at that, that Shabbat blesses all the seven days that come after it. That all the days refer to the six days of the week, which God confirmed a general blessing. God will bless you in everything that you do. So one way is that Shabbat gives a blessing to all the other days. Right? Another way is that Shabbat gives a blessing to the previous days. That's how it was when God created the world. Shabbat was the last. The blessing of Shabbat is for, here's a third way. The blessing of Shabbat is for the three days preceding it and the three days following it. The preparations begin for Shabbat on Wednesday, three days before, and are announced by when we say at the end in our prayers, every day we say the song of the day. This is what was said in the whole temple. And on the fourth day in Yom Ravi, which that's today, <clears throat> so we say a psalm, and at the end of the psalm is inserted another a song. This is the psalm that said also, in the one second, in the uh, temple, one minute. Someone's making noise of those. Menachem, there was some sort of, uh, uh, how do you say, noise is coming. Okay, here we go. So it says, God will bless you. Wednesday, the the Chuna, and tomorrow we'll learn a little bit more about what this means. But we're saying <clears throat> the preparation for Shabbat today, on Wednesday, we should start thinking about Shabbat. Shabbat is different from all the other days. It's sort of like a little ray of Mashiach, when the world will be totally aware of the Creator. All right, now let us learn. Here we have a story. Uh, 